We collect your waste, clean your streets, and maintain the plant life in your town. Together with city councils, residents and businesses, we work to keep your neighborhood pleasant and clean. We do so with special care for people and society. And we do so in an innovative way, as sustainably as possible. This is why we prefer not to call waste, waste. Because waste is useful. We have for many years used kitchen and garden waste to make compost, which is used for natural soil improvement. However, we are on the eve of major change. We no longer use kitchen and garden waste just to make compost. We also generate green gas for our own fleet of cars and those of others. We generate heat and CO2 for nursery gardens. And we use condensation in the sweepers that clean your streets. Supplying heat from the composting process is a new concept in the Netherlands. Residents of the Schiphol and Bulb region, where the Meerlanden collects waste, contribute to a unique, novel process. The kitchen and garden waste they provide is processed locally and converted into heat. Power shovels come and go. The five dump sites are filled and emptied again. Waste goes in, compost comes out. Using bacteria and air, an annual 50,000 tons of kitchen and garden waste is converted into compost here in Rijsenhout, near Schiphol Airport. It takes about 12 days for the organic heaps to be converted into steaming compost. The temperature reaches up to 70 degrees Celsius in the tunnels where the piles of waste are decomposing. This heat is first used in our own process. We conduct heat from the one tunnel to the next, where new waste has been dumped and the bacteria could use a little warmth. However, we have so much heat to spare that we can actually sell some to nursery gardens nearby. Hot air of about 70 degrees Celsius is conducted out of the compost tunnels past a heat exchanger to heat up water. This heated water runs down newly installed pipes to the heating station at the Arendshoeve Nursery Gardens and Showglass House. The plants and flowers of the nursery and glass house are greener than ever before. Because thanks to the green heat of the composting of kitchen and garden waste, the nursery no longer needs to burn natural gas for its heat. That saves more than a million kilos of CO2. That's the amount of CO2 you would emit if you were to drive around the world 140 times. The Meer London considers heat part of the new processing plant for kitchen and garden waste, which should be ready in 2011. The next step is the construction of a kitchen and garden waste fermentation plant to produce biogas. We will use that gas to fuel our cars. Before long, the Meer London will collect your kitchen and garden waste in an entirely climate neutral manner. Fueled by kitchen and garden waste, provided by local residents. And we produce much more than we use. Perhaps you too would like to drive a waste-powered car.